sometimes with children when it comes to like um them being little and then being like from the ages I think maybe of two through six they don't always understand when they take things without asking it's not really okay it's just because they don't know any better and then when you tell them they can't use the item just because they um took it without asking they can kind of take it personal and think you're being mean it's only, and it's because they don't understand that it's a consequence that they need to learn that teaches them how they have to ask before they take stuff without asking it's just really important because sometimes you just got to put your feet down in order to let little kids know that when they take your stuff without asking it's just really not okay okay and sometimes you gotta be the bigger person and just let them know that when they take your stuff without asking then they can't use it and if you're not being mean it's a teaching lesson It's Mina. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and today in this video I'm going to do a story time about the time this little girl accidentally took my fingerless gloves without asking me from my room and she kind of took it personal when I told her she couldn't use them because she took them without asking. At first I felt bad until I realized that I did the right thing just teaching her a lesson about how she needs to ask first before um, she, before she borrows things. And this is a story just to teach you guys, when a little kid takes your stuff without asking, they don't always understand that it, there's a consequence to it, that they're not allowed to borrow it unless they ask first, because if you let them just use it after they take it without asking, sometimes they're going to get used to, <coughs> excuse me, used to taking things without asking, and it's not really okay um, you just got to put your foot down and tell them and stand your ground and tell them that they cannot borrow this stuff without asking because they took it without asking. Let me know if that makes sense. So it's just a really important rule you got to teach little kids because they, they may, it may come off to them as mean, but they, they're just confused because they don't understand how to ask. So you just got to learn to stand your grounds and just let the little kid know you're not being mean. It's a consequence so they understand that they have to ask first before they take stuff. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And because I won't be using names for safety purposes, I'm going to give this little girl a name and call her fingerless gloves because she took my fingerless gloves without asking me. So this all started about 14 years ago. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. This all started about 14 years ago. I was a junior, <coughs> excuse me, I was a junior in high school. And um, this one day, this little girl, who I'm gonna name Fingerless Gloves in this video, only because she took my fingerless gloves, um, went in my room one day and um, she was a friend of mine, ours's daughter. And she came in my room and she had taken my fingerless gloves without asking me and a rule that my family and I go by is like if you want to borrow stuff from other people you have to ask permission first before you borrow stuff because um, it just shows respect for people's boundaries and people's belongings and if you break it then um, you have to take responsibility for it so it's just kind of important and it's just a role that I grew up with in my house. So this little girl who I'm gonna name Fingerless Gloves because she took my fingerless gloves. One day, I don't know what she was doing. Um, she went in my bedroom and she, I think she was playing with my sister or something. And she went in my room and she had taken my camouflage, my pink camouflage fingerless gloves from my room. And I wasn't too happy about that. And um, the little girl and the mom had told the little girl that she needed to ask me first before she could borrow my fingerless gloves. And the little girl politely asks me, Can I borrow your fingerless gloves? So I 
did some thinking after she had asked me and I wasn't really sure about that because she had taken them without asking me and I really wasn't too fond of that. So I politely told her, I'm really sorry, you cannot wear my fingerless gloves. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, I don't really want you wearing them since you took them from my room. So I said this in the nicest way as possible, but the little girl actually puts my fingerless gloves down, runs upstairs to um, her bedroom, and she starts crying and screaming because I think she's upset because I wouldn't let her wear the gloves. So I kind of start to feel bad because I thought I was being mean, but my, but the little girl's mom and my mom were both like, it's okay, you weren't being mean. She just didn't understand that it wasn't okay for her to take your things without asking. So I kind of felt much better after we had talked about it. And the little girl is just upstairs crying because she's really mad because I wouldn't let her wear the fingerless gloves. And so the mom goes upstairs to check on fingerless gloves. And then she has a conversation with her and tells her why she couldn't wear my fingerless gloves. And she explains to her that she couldn't wear them because she had taken them my, from my room without asking. And I wasn't too happy about that. And I was trying to set a boundary rule where she couldn't borrow them because she had taken them without asking. So I think the little girl had understand, uh, stood after the mom had explained it to her that she was supposed to ask first before she took my stuff. So once the little girl had calmed down, she came downstairs and apologized to me for taking my gloves without asking and also apologized for getting mad at me because I wouldn't let her wear my fingerless gloves even though she took them without asking. And I was very nice about it because I knew she was little, she didn't understand, and I was always, and I explained to her next time you want to borrow them can you ask me next time? And she said, okay. And she was really, really nice about it. So we started to set a rule that she needed to ask before borrowing anyone's stuff in the house, which went pretty, which became a rule for her so she would understand better. So the moral of the story is when a child, a small child for between the age of five or six um, takes things from any room in your house without asking, you gotta let them know they can't use it. And if they get mad about it, it's not on you. They need to learn that they need to follow rules in other people's houses. Cause not little, cause little kids don't always understand how they need to ask before they take stuff. They have to understand it's not finders keepers, keepers anywhere. They have to follow the rules and respect pe things, uh, people's items, no matter what. Like they can't just take them and wear them. You have to let them know that if they take something without asking, that they're not allowed to use the item without asking that they had taken. taken. And even if they get upset, it's just a rule to teach them boundaries and how to respect other people's personal items or anything that um, they wanna use and touch without asking. So you gotta teach children that they need to ask first before touching people's stuff. So that was a story about how a little girl took my fingerless gloves without asking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this taught you that when you're explaining to, a, when you're telling a little kid no, when they take your stuff without asking, it's, you're not being mean, you're just setting a rule of boundaries with them so they understand that they need to ask before taking their stuff. You can't just always let them use your stuff without asking because sometimes they'll get used to it. You have to put your feet down, your foot down, and let them know that they can't use the item that they took from your room without asking because it's just like sometimes little kids will get used to that. But you have to set um, a good set of rules with them so they understand. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoons sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.